Alrighty, hey y'all, happy, dang, I was gonna say happy Monday. First of all, it is not Monday when I'm recording this video. Two, I'm so used to going live on um, Instagram and used to be Facebook um, that I just got in the routine. Y'all, I'm trying to show y'all that I actually have on a shirt. Um, just got in a routine of saying when I hit record to say, or hit a red button that says record or live to say happy Monday. But whenever you're watching this, happy day. I am Brianka Hardy. Um, so on my YouTube channel, Life with Brianka, I started back, of course, going, posting videos regularly, like every week, right? But I also wanted to add a nugget in there in my lives. And if you hear any movements, y'all, it's my um, friend's dog. Her name is Amor. She's hanging out with me this morning. Um, but yeah, so another thing that I wanted to add into my YouTube channel, uh, get back into just adding prophetic words or giving an encouraging message or anything like that, right? And I wanted to do that every month. Um, so I started in April and I did April. And so even though I'm recording this in April, this will be posted in May. And so this will actually be a combination of encouragement and a vlog because I haven't done a vlog in so long. And I thought since I kind of had rearranged how I was going to do my channel, I thought that vlogs were just not going to happen. But I feel like doing a vlog today. Why? Because I'm going on a retreat, y'all. <laughs> I'm going on a retreat. Um... My friend Jessica, who y'all hear me talk all about all the time. It's because we're in the same city, okay? It's because we're in the same city. Um, but I'm going to her her organization, Naturally Devoted, is hosting their annual women's retreat. And I we're leaving today. And I'm super excited, y'all. This retreat is so needed. Um, so let me first do the encouragement and then do the, everything after that will be the vlog. So I want to um, encourage you guys. Sorry, y'all. My okay. I just want y'all to know I got them clothes. You hear me? Okay. Um. Okay. So here's the encouragement. Honey, honey, honey. Since the start of April, and I'll be um, a bit transparent. Um, since the start of April, I have been shifting into a season of testing. And this is actually a season of double testing. I know all the time, like we talk about, um, he'll get double for your trouble, double blessings, all this, right? Um, I've never heard of a double testing season until I fell into a double testing season. Um, so like I said, I'm recording this video in April and this will be posted in May, 2022. Um, yeah, so I started off April with a fast. Um, I typically start off my months with a fast. And so on the last day of my fast was the first day of my testing period, right? And so April for me brought in testing. April for me brought in <laughs> a lot, right? And so I share this, what I'm about to share with you. I shared this with my church um, on a Sunday and I'm going to share it with you all. I prophesied over myself, Amos, and over my year of 2022, that this would be a year of Amos 9, uh, 13 through 15. I actually prophesied various things over my year. Um, but Amos, okay, sorry about that, y'all. I had a alarm set. Um, but anyways, I started off my year prophesying that Amos 9, 13 through 15 would be my 2022. Okay, I'm going to read that to you. I'm also going to put it down here. Um, it has to be read in the message version. No other version hits like the message version. So the message version says, yes, indeed, it won't be long now, God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast, your head will swim. One thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. I'm going to say that again. Everything will be happening at once. And everywhere you look, blessings. Blessings like wine pouring off mountains and hills. I'll make everything right again for my people. And what I add in there is my name. So I'll say it again. I'll make everything right again for Brianka, my daughter. 
They'll rebuild their ruined cities. They'll plant vineyards and drink good wine. They'll work their gardens and eat fresh vegetables. And I'll plant them, plant them on their own land. They'll never again be uprooted from the land I've given them. God, your God says so. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So that's what I prophesied over my year. Now I told y'all or what it says in here um, is that it won't be long now, right? And it says that it all will be happening at once. And so I was like, God, when when it's when I prophesied that it's all gonna be happening at once, I thought that the blessings were gonna be happening at once. And so in my quiet time, God was like, yeah, the blessings are going to happen at once. But he was saying, you know, there's there's no blessing that I give that doesn't the the that the prerequisite. <laughs> there's no blessing that I give that the prerequisite is not a test. Right. And so if Amos 9, 13, 15, to put it all together, it's basically a scripture that talks about the. Um, acceleration of God and how God will speed things up for you. And so God was letting me know, yes, the blessings are going to be on turbo time for you in this season. But because I said that every blessing that you get must have a test before that blessing, that means that if the blessings are on turbo, then the testings are going to be on turbo. And if everything is going to be happening at once, if the blessings are happening at once, that means the trials and tribulations shall happen at once too. And so I just decree and declare on my own life that if I'm experiencing a double testing in this season, then I shall experience a double blessing in my um, upcoming season, right? And so, yeah, double testing, I am being tested in multiple areas in my life. And what God is telling me to do in this season, he is um, commanding me to have faith. So even there's a scripture that he led me to. Um, he told me to read Romans 4. I asked God um, one morning, I was like, Lord, what do you want me to read today? And he said, uh, fully persuaded scripture, Roman. No, he said fully persuaded scripture, read about faith. And so I knew exactly where that scripture came from. I knew that he was talking about um, the scripture that says, that talking about Abraham where he says, I was fully persuaded that what God has promised, he is able to perform. And so Romans 4 is a scripture, all, is a chapter all about faith. And it begins to reflect on the faith that Abraham had. And um, as I was reading that, there was um, a, a scripture that stood out to me. And it stood out to me so much that I began to look at it in various different versions. And so the scripture, the version that stood out to me the most, I hope I can pull it up pretty quickly. If not, I'll just lapse this time. Uh, Romans 4. Y'all, I can't, <laughs> I can't find the version that I really, that really spoke to me in my journal that I wrote it is in the car, but I'll say what I remember it says. So it was Romans 4 and I think it was uh, verse, Romans 4 verse 18 and it said, hold on y'all, I just want to make sure. Yeah, okay, it's Romans 4 verse 18 and it said, I can't remember the version, I'll, once I get to my journal, I'll put it in what the version was, but it says, what does it say? <laughs> I think it says, when all seemed hopeless, Abraham still believed in God. And when all seemed hopeless, Abraham still believed in God. And I said, in this season, I told God, tears in my eyes. I told God, Lord, I don't just want to pass these tests. I want to excel in these tests and this testing season like I want to excel so greatly and so I said heaven's report will be concerning me and when it all seemed hopeless Brianca still believed in her God right I wanted I want heaven to say that about me uh, I want God to say that about me um and so this season of double testing has been challenging but and and it's not it's not over you hear me i'm recording this video and i'm still in it you hear me but 
Um, God is really challenging me in my faith and he is commanding me to have faith. And so that has been my prayer to be strengthened in the season. So I encourage you to whatever challenging season that you may be going through, um, be strengthening, be strengthened in your faith. Um, scripture says that Abraham, that God told Abraham that he was going to have a blessing, that he was going to be the father of many nations and have he was going to be the father of many nations, right? And he told him at the age of 75. Now, theolo the theologians, theologians, theologians <laughs> said, I'm keeping all this in here, all transparent. Theologians say that Abraham did not conceive, um, what's his name? Isaac until he was a hundred years old. Like that the, that the, yeah, the prophecy that God gave him to have that he was going to be a father of many sons or the nations was at 75 and Isaac was not born until Abraham was 100 years old. So that means Abraham waited on God's promises for 25 years. And the scripture in Romans, it says when Abraham in his natural, in his natural state, his body may have seemed dead to him. Abraham still believed that God was going to do what he said he was going to do. Listen, that is my report and I'm encouraging you to have that report. I know when you go through a season of testing and trials and you're like, God, you told me to do this. God, you said this was mine. God, you showed me this. You, you, you put this purpose, you put this vision, you put this desire, you put this want in my mind, in my heart. And you said that you would give me the desires of my heart. But why is it that I want this thing and now that I have a desire for this thing, that this thing looks dead in the natural, right? Abraham was like, listen, we old, him and Sarah were like, listen, we old, our bodies are old, we're practically dead. Um, nevertheless, Abraham still had faith. And so that is my report. I am encouraging myself, I am encouraging you to let your faith be strengthened. And I have a call coming in, so I'm going to pause this. Okay, so I don't even know where I was at left off in recording. So I'm just going to start where I feel. <laughs> Let I had a call to come through. Y'all, okay, once again, I'm going on a retreat today. So I, it's retreat vibes all day. Um, but yeah, have faith in God. May your faith be strengthened in your season of testing um, to... Woo. Okay, everything's coming back to me that I told God. I told God. So there's a in Ezekiel, the prophet Ezekiel, God had given him many words to give to the nation that he was in. Um, and he was giving him these hard words. And God's like, I, Ezekiel, I need you to prophesy this to these people, even though they're not going to listen to you. I need you to still do it. I need you to have your face like Flint, meaning don't be moved by their facial expression. Don't be moved by what they say. Don't be moved. They laugh at you. Have your face like Flint. And I told God, Lord, in this season of testing, my faith is going to be so strong that my faith is going to be like Flint. It's going to be hard, so hard. It's going to be unmovable. It is going to be resilient in you. <laughs> as much as I've said that, that has been tried. So I just really honestly wanted to share this moment of transparency. I think a lot of times um, people can look to people on social media and they think that they have it all together. And not to say that anyone thinks this about me in this moment, but I know that we can think that about other people. And just because you see that they may have all these great things going on in their life, but behind the scenes, like there's great things, but behind the scenes, there's also trials too, right? And so I just wanted to be transparent in saying, your girl in the season of double testing, but I'm believing God. My faith is in God. I, my prayer is, and I've been praying to God because faith, honestly, I don't, I can't say that faith in my has been my strongest fruit, right? There's different uh, fruit of the spirit and faith is one of them. And I can't necessarily say that faith has been my strongest cultivated fruit. And so this is definitely a season where God is cultivating uh, faith in my life. And I told God, I'm saying so much. I, I'm trying to go back to everything I'm popping in my head. But in a worship service, a Tuesday night Bible study worship service, I told God, I said, Lord, how blessed, thank you, Holy Spirit, remind me of something else. Lord, how blessed am I 
so that you desire to cultivate the fruits of long suffering and faith in me. How blessed am I, O oh great gardener, that you chose to, to you chose me as your garden to cultivate the fruit of you in me. How blessed am I? And so one of my tools that I'm using in this season of testing is uh, the the weapon of praise, specifically the weapon of a sacrifice of praise. So, okay, y'all, I apologize for all these stops and turns and maybe in this video. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, I was talking about I give God sacrifice of praise. Um, and a sacrifice of praise looks like this. Um, because we believe or the Bible says, I believe, um, the Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered or the steps of a righteous um, person are ordered by God. Um, so let's say I get in a car accident, right? No one wants a car accident, but a sacrifice of praise looks like this. God, I thank you so much for this car accident because I know that if you allow this car accident, then it must be needed. Your word says that not only that the steps of a good man are ordered, but that you withhold no good thing from those that walk up righteously. And because I am righteous before you, that means somehow this car accident is a good thing. So I bless you for the car accident. I give you praise for the car accident. This is not a situation I want to be in, but I thank you, God, that you're still God. That's a sacrifice of praise. And that's what I did. As soon as my testing season began, I began to uh, give God a sacrifice of praise. Now, let me be upfront, upfront and frank with you. Um, I literally have to reset my mind. You know how scripture talks about renewing your mind? I have to renew my mind <laughs> to praise God. I have to renew my mind on a daily basis to have faith in God. Um, it's almost like I was telling one friend, like, it's almost like it's a reset button that as soon as I go to bed, like I have to reset, remind, remember what I said and professed on the day before. And so I say that to say that sometimes I even have to be like, okay, <laughs> this don't feel good. Help me, God, because I really don't feel like praising you right here. Right. Um, but that is a sacrifice of praise. And that, um, it really does train, change the trajectory of how I feel. It shifts my mind. It gives me back into a proper posture to where I can pray uh, prayers that align with the word of God and align with what God has said for me. So the, I don't know how long this video is going to be because I'm adding this encouraging word plus a vlog. This could be two parts. I don't know. But my encouragement to you is, yes, it as Amos 9, 3, 13 Amos 9, 13 through 15 says, and it all, yes, indeed, it won't be long now, God's decree, and that it'll all be happening at once, and it'll be blessings upon blessings, like flowing off of a mountain and hills like wine pouring off. All those things are true. Yes, it all will be happening at once. And yes, your head will swim because you're going to be like, God, another blessing. God, another breakthrough. God, another promotion. God, another contract. You're going to say all these great things, right? But there will be a season before that if you're prophesying this over your life, right? If God has said this over your life, there will be a season where the testing will all be at once. And you may find yourself, God, another blow. God, another hit. God, another, oh, like, it'll be like that. Because, hello, presently. But I thank God for it. I give him sacrifice of praise. My prayer has been as of lately, Lord, help me to strengthen my faith. Teach me how to have faith. Teach me how to honor you in this place. I told God, listen, I ain't just trying to pass. I'm trying to excel in this test because if I excel in this test, the blessings are going to be excellent. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this part of the vlog, the encouragement, and just stay tuned for the retreat because it's going to be amazing. Uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. I need it. I know so many women uh, that are coming are like, it's, it's needed. Naturally Devoted is a needed organization and the retreat that they do every year is essential. Okay, so I'm so excited. Bye.